and so now I can cut this one to fit the stud holes are slightly different but it will not make any difference because in this one that's full steam pressure underneath the, the piston because it's a double acting engine and this appears to be the same thickness as the gasket or the joint that was on there except that joint will have had asbestos in it right so we pick the stud holes up there's one there There, but it'll make no difference because it's around there we need to need to seal and obviously this side is also on the high pressure steam right so basically that's the bottom joint made Once again, grease is all I'm going to be putting on here, it doesn't need anything other than grease to make it seal. No horrible joint and compounds needed. It. I like it. These two check nuts I did, I can't remember what it was, but I measured how many turns they were from the bottom. That's critical for the valve timing or the valve opening period or the valve. It's critical for the valve anyway. Put the cylinder on top now and then make the, the cylinder top joint. Later on this one, I want to see the piston go up and down, that's what I want to see. Right, I've been in look at the, the video in that nut. was two and a half turns from the bottom of its threads. And when I was taking that off, I thought I wonder if I'm gonna get this back together. Two and a half turns, so that's one. Two, do it again. Bottom of the threads. One, two, and a half. Knock them two together. Basically now we can put the cylinder barrel or cylinder block down onto there. Making the faces all nice and clean. Only goes one way obviously. Right, that's it. All the way down. Some nuts on the bottom, it's getting starting to look like an engine now. Right, 
I'll just put a couple on and turn this over just to make sure things are moving all right. Make sure you tighten things down even. Very important. There's this curved washer goes on, then the nut which has got a recess in the back. I'm not doing very, very well with these uh, spanners at the minute. I need to tidy up, I need to stop and sort the bench out. That piston pulls down into a taper. Right, happy with that. So the piston now goes whizzing up and down and it feels really nice comes right up to the top of the steam transfer port that's it there there's also a hole there for a cylinder drain valve and there's a hole there for a pressure relief valve because if you get water in there and it's got nowhere to go it'll bend the corn rod so it's starting to look more and more like a steam engine Next thing will be the spool valve. Plenty of steam cylinder oil on here. That should just drop down there like that. That's absolutely gorgeous the way that fell in there. And once again, there's double nuts on the top. Definitely, definitely time to tidy this bench up now. It's a proper shit hole. As you can see, it's a mess. I can't really find anything. So I'm going to stop, tidy up, and then carry on again. Right, that's the check nut tightened on. So now the valve and the piston are moving. Nice and freely. And that joint to make for there, top to go on. And then I may put a little bit of air in just to make sure the valves are working and it's blowing air out the correct places. Split pin to go through there, I'll do that now before I forget. The gear I got given, uh, really a nice old fashioned split pins. I like, I like the old gear. They're just better than the, the modern stuff. Better shape, like the guy that Just need to bend one leg over, doesn't need anything fantastic. I 
after a few years you stop using your thumb there to bend split pin ends or because it hurts it takes a while before you actually stop do doing it but you do eventually stop doing it Come on, you bastard, you. Right. Right, they're nicely wrapped round. Make a job of it, because that's the way it was when it came apart. Lovely. Right, just a quick... It's actually making steam engine type noises there, lovely and free plenty of oil down there it's amazing down there you haven't even got a Lock and tab on a begin bearing on a car, you've got nothing. It's never gonna end up in the right place, is it? Split pinholes there. I'll try the other nut on. Certainly won't go around in that flat, I don't think. No, I don't like that. I don't want to put too much load on those old big end bolts. I'm seeing that one well end up there now. I'd be happy if that was going at that. A little bit more. It's certainly tight and still nice and free, so that'll, that'll do for that one. Right, one tail there, and chop those two off. Right, that's one side done. It's starting to get heavy now to move around the bench. I said I tied up before I hadn't really. <laughs> quite, a, quite a fearsome thing, really. 